Good morning, this is Duane, and we've been doing a series called How to Color Without Crayons on the Piano. In other words, how to make our songs uh, colorful. And uh, when I teach a song, <clears throat> I'm not really teaching the song itself, I'm teaching uh, transferable concepts that will apply to lots and lots of different songs. Last time we talked about form in the song Ain't She Sweet, but there's form in every song. So. Uh, if you haven't reviewed that, be, sh be sure and do that first because it's important. When you learn the form of a song, you can learn it faster and remember it better. And we said that in Ain't She Sweet, there's eight measures. Then it turns around and then it does it again. Another eight measures. said there's a bridge which is eight measures and then the final eight measures which which is just like the first eight measures so by learning eight measures you've really learned three quarters of the song haven't you that so that puts you way ahead so that's called musical form. Every song has some kind of musical form, and you just need to figure out what it is and then uh, apply it. Now, the second thing I'd like to teach about Ain't She Sweet uh, is the, what my left hand is doing, and it's called swing bass. Watch my left hand. You know why it's called swing bass? Sure. As my arm swings back and forth. Low note, chord. Now, you have to know what the chords are, okay? But in a, in a fake book or <clears throat> even a printer sheet, it usually tells what the chords are. You can figure it out. So the first chord is E-flat, so I'd hit a low, low E-flat. Then I'd come up and play some form of the E-flat chord. I'm playing an E-flat 6. It doesn't matter what inversion I play it in. I could do it there or there or wherever I want, okay? So in any case, I hit a low as... Uh, as I play that low E flat, I push my pedal down and only let it up as I play the chord. So it hooks that low note to the chord, doesn't it? The next chord is E diminished seventh. So I hit a low E and then the E diminished seventh. The next chord is F minor seventh. So I hit a low F, pushing the pedal down and keeping it down until I play the chord and then letting it up. And then the next chord is B flat seventh. Again, E flat. Diminish seventh, F minor seventh, F, B flat seventh, E flat, G, C, or C seventh, F seventh, B flat seventh, E flat. And then it repeats, A trade sweet. Okay? So that's what the swing bass is. You swing back and forth between a low note and a chord. Okay? And if I were just learning that, I would practice hands alone. I'd just do the left hand. Until I got the feeling of swinging back and forth. Now at first, you're probably going to have to look down at your hands. But in time, you, you, you know, you can be doing something else and, and you can pretty well find those notes because of the muscle memory in your left hand. Okay, that's it for uh, swing bass. And uh, then tomorrow we'll take uh, the right hand. I, I, in the right hand, I want to show you how to break up chords in the right hand under the melody. Okay? For example, I do this. Okay? Lots of ways to do it, but that's one way I do it. I'll cover that tomorrow. Okay? Then the next session after that will be the bridge. And that's an entirely different style. When you get to the bridge of a song, you want to make it contrasted with the uh, theme of the song. Okay, so you have not only a different sound, but you have a different style going on too. Okay, so that's it for today. If you enjoy these little uh, piano tips, come on over to playpiano.com and sign up for our whole series of tips. So I hope to see you there. Bye bye for now.